Hey guys, this is Julio. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to find the volume of a truncated cone. But first, we're going to have to figure out how to find the volume of a regular cone. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to find you're going to use the formula which is 1 third pi r squared h. Basically, you're going to be plugging in r, which is the radius of the base, which is the bottom circle, and then you're going to find the height, and you're just going to plug those numbers in, and then that'll give you the volume of the entire cone, which is the space inside the 3D object. So let, let's try to find the volume of this cone, for example. So let's say the cone has, or the party hat, has a radius of five centimeters and a height of 10. Well, we already have everything we need to plug in. We have the, we have the formula, one third pi r squared h, and we have the radius which we needed and we have the height which we needed. So now you're just going to plug it in and solve. So here's here I have my equation. Then I plug in the five and the ten where they need to be where they need to be. I'm gonna do PEMDAS. So first I'm gonna find the exponent. So five squared is twenty-five, and then I'm gonna multiply it by the ten. So I got two hundred and fifty times pi and divided by three. And at the very end, I get two hundred fifty pi over three, which is about 261 and 8 tenths. And don't forget your units, centimeters cubed, cubed because it's volume. But that's where we move here. This is a truncated cone. Truncated cone is a cone that just has the top cut off just like this. So let's work with the same exact cone, same exact um, dimensions as the other one. Okay. What what would be the volume of just this piece? All right, think about it for a second. How would you figure it out? The way I would do it is I would just find I would just find the volume of this, right? The same this the cone. And then I would just subtract this smaller cone, right? So the volume of a truncated cone here would be the volume of the big cone, which is the entire thing, minus the volume of the little cone, which is the small one. And what's good about that is we're just finding the volume of two different cones, which we already know the equation for, one third pi r squared h, and we're just subtracting them. So. Now let's go through this example. We already figured out the volume of the first cone, right? But I, I'm gonna write out the dimensions again. The radius was five, the height was 10, and the volume was 250 pi over three. I made the, the R and the H capital letters because it's the big cone. So instead of getting confused with the small cone, it they're just bigger. But the smaller cone, right, this one, this guy right here, he has a radius of two and the height of four. So now you would just plug in these numbers and you can figure out what the volume of just this piece, the truncated cone would be. So you guys can work through it and I will have everything written out. Okay, you guys can pause if you'd like. If not, just keep watching. So I write out the volume of the truncated cone is the volume of the big cone and the volume of, minus the volume of the little cone, right? And I just wrote it out that way so I know exactly where to plug everything in. Volume of the big cone, the radius was five, so I plugged in five. Height was 10, so I plugged in 10. And for the small one, I plugged in two for the radius because the radius was two and the height was four. So I plugged in that. Um, I just went straight to 250 pi over three because we already did it in the first part. So we're gonna leave that for now and we're gonna find the volume of the smaller cone, which is just 
2 squared, which is 4, times 4, which is 16. So I plugged in the R and the H and then multiplied those to each other, got 16. And then I'm going to multiply the 16 by pi and divide by 3, get 16 pi over, over 3. And now I just subtract the 2, right? I have the volume of the big cone, which is right there, and the volume of the little cone, which is right there. Now, I can put those together because they have the same denominator of 3. And then I figure out that the volume is 234 pi over 3. Now I can simplify. So I know 234 divided by 3 is 78. Um, so it's 78 pi or 245.04 centimeters cubed approximately. So that's how you find the volume of the truncated cone if you have all the information you need. But let's say you don't have the information you need. Here, I just have a truncated cone. Do you think we can still figure out the volume of it if we don't know anything about the, the smaller cone? Well, the answer is yes. As long as you know this height, the, the radius of the big circle on the bottom, and the radius of the small circle on top. Because really, the circle of the small radius on top is the same as the radius of the base, right? Think about it over here. You have the radius on top is the same as the radius on the bottom of this smaller cone. So as long as you have those three pieces of information, then you should be good. So for this example, we're going to have a truncated party hat and it has the big radius is six, the small radius is three, and the height of just this part is six. I didn't want to call it big H or little H because it's not the big H, it's not the whole thing, but it's also not the, the all right, sorry, you couldn't see that. It wasn't, it's, it's not big H because it's not the whole piece, the whole height, and it's not little H because it's not this height. It's just, it's just this pipe, this part. So I just called this height P for a party hat. So the way I would figure out the volume, I would need to fill my information. So I have the big and little radius, right? Which is part of what I need in this equation, the big R and the little r. But I also need big H and little h. So what's good is that you always have a proportion between the radius and the height. And by that I mean if, so in this example, the, the radius is five and the height is 10 for the big, for the big party hat. 10 divided by five is two. For the smaller cone, because it's sort of a part of the bigger cone, even though it has a smaller radius and a smaller height, if you divide the two, four divided by two, you still get two. And that's because the proportions are the same no matter what. That's what we're gonna need to solve this. So because we know that the small height divided by the big radius, or the small height divided by the small radius is gonna be the same as the big height divided by the big radius. Now we can figure out what the small height and the big height are. So I can plug in the little r and big R, right? Which are just three and six. And then I can plug in the big H as six because this part, we know this part, and we're missing this part. So this part right here will be little h. So now we know it's six plus little h would be the whole big h. So I went from this h to that because I know that those are gonna be the same. Now I can just solve for the little h. So I have, 
So I have, I multiply both sides by six so that I get six H over three equals six plus H. I can divide by two to get two H equals six plus H, right? Because six divided by three, I know it's just two. Um, I'm just simplifying there. And then I can, I can subtract an H from both sides. And that will make it so that H is equal to six. Now I have, I have the small radius and the small height, but I also have the big radius and the big height, right? Because the, we have the big radius, but the big height was six, from, which, is, which is P, plus whatever the small height was, which is also six. So now I know the small, the small cone is, has a radius of three centimeters and six centimeters, but the big cone has six centimeters and 12 centimeters. Now I can do exactly what I did in, in the second part right there. Then you just plug into the volume equation and figure out the volume of this truncated cone. So big, the volume of the big cone minus, minus the volume of the little cone, right? Plug in one third pi r squared h for both. I skipped that part and went straight into plugging in the numbers. The radius of the big cone is six and the height is 12. And then for the small one, three and six. I did this, I squared the radius for both sides in this step. And then I put them all into the fraction all together, right? Because everything's divided by three. Now I can do 36 times 12, which is 432, and nine times six, which is 54. Then I can just subtract, I can divide both by three, right? So 432 pi divided by three is 144 pi, and 54 pi divided by three is 18 pi. Now I can just subtract those and get the final volume of 126 pi or approximately 395 and 84 hundredths centimeters cubed. And that's how you find the volume of a truncated party hat. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.